This is Math 142, the, the final practice, and we're doing question number two. We're supposed to find the exact value of all six trig functions of theta, and we're given a, a couple pieces of information. We know that tangent is 7 fourths. We know that co cosecant is negative root 65 over 7. So that's actually a lot of information. That, that gives me a lot. So, for example, tangent is uh, 7 fourths. Cosecant is negative root 65 over 7. So that means that if tangent 7 fourths, cotangent must be 4 sevenths. If cosecant is negative uh, 65 over 7, that means that sine would be negative 7 over root 65, which is the same as uh, negative 7 root 65 over 65. So really, I just need cosine and secant. So let me, let me sketch what I know here. I know that uh, tangent's positive. So if tangent's positive, it could be in the first or the third quadrant, you know, like the slope's positive. But sine's negative. Cosecant's negative and sine's negative. So it must be going down. So it must be here in the third quadrant. Tangent 7 fourths, you know, rise over run. So that's 7 and that's 4. But notice they're both going back, so those are both negative. And uh, that root 65 must be my r, and I could get that with Pythagorean theorem too. But anyways, now that I'm there, I should be able to get at uh, cosine and secant. So cosine is uh, x over r, so that would be negative 4 over root 65. And if I rationalize that, that would be negative 4 root 65 over 65. And secant would be the reciprocal of this, negative root 65 over 4.